Hi, my name is Dr. Shalane Gates. I chose to write about the sandalwood tree and the moment I decided I would write a poem on it, I felt blocked because I felt I needed to be in the presence of the sandalwood tree to do it justice. So I went and laid down under my enormous river gum, which must be hundreds of years old. And I actually sent out a wish that somehow I could find out where there was a sandalwood tree. Within moments, there was a knock at my front door and the local historian came in and asked me what I was doing. I told her what I, that I was looking for inspiration and she said, there is a sandalwood tree growing just three doors down. I'll take you. We walked there and I was told that those sandalwood trees were 120 years old and that they were grown there as a part of a competition to horticulturists trying to prove that it couldn't be done, but they did it. When I saw the sandalwood tree, I think I must have had the same emotions as people who are in the desert and looking for medicine would feel when they find a sandalwood tree. It's a humble tree with the most beautiful blue-green leaves, but it offers the most powerful medicine. Medicine for increasing circulation, so it prevents pain, which is amazing if you've been walking vast distances. It also um, is good for epigastric disorders, chest pain and angina. And even more so, it's good for calming the spirit. It removes the feeling of being angry and frustrated and it lifts the mind, creates clarity and allows you to find some spiritual peace. That's why it's used in temples. So there humbly, I took the sandalwood leaves, chewed them and then wrote the poem. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.